Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number four in the command injection module titled Blind OS Command Injection Without a Band Interaction. All right, before we continue with the video, I'm happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by HackersAcademy.com. Hackers Academy is an online learning platform for individuals that are looking to become ethical hackers or security experts. It contains a ton of courses that cover a variety of topics like Wi-Fi cracking, privilege escalation for Windows and Linux, and introductory courses for how to get into pen testing. This video specifically is sponsored by the Hacking Fundamentals Bundle, which contains two amazing courses that teach you how to get into pen testing. The first one is the Hacking with Kali Linux course, which introduces you to the Kali Linux operating system. This was the perfect course to sponsor during the command injection module, because while we're solving the labs, you'll see me run Linux system commands like who am I, if config, netstat, and so on. And if you're not familiar with Linux systems, then this is a great course to take to familiarize yourself with how Linux works and how to use the command line in Linux. The second course is the Hacking for Beginners course, which teaches you all the fundamentals you need to start pen testing. This starts off with fundamentals like networking basics and goes all the way to things like scanning the network, identifying vulnerabilities, and then learning how to exploit those vulnerabilities. These courses already have over 60,000 students enrolled in them with nothing but amazing feedback. So if you're interested in enrolling in the Hacking Fundamentals bundle, use the link on the screen or in the description of the video. The bundle is valued at $97, but as a special discount for our viewers, you can get it for less than $30, which is an amazing deal, so make sure to check them out. All right, enough about our sponsor, let's go back to talking about command injection. If you do not have an account on the Web Security Academy, you can get one by visiting the URL portswigger.net slash websecurity and clicking on the sign up button. I already have an account and I am logged in, so to access the exercise, I'm going to click on Academy go down, select the learning path, go down, select command injection, go down one more time, and select lab number four titled Blind OS Command Injection Without a Band Interaction. All right, let's get started. This lab contains a blind OS command injection vulnerability in the feedback function. The application executes a shell command containing the user supplied details. The command is executed asynchronously and has no effect on the application's response. It is not possible to redirect output into a location that you can access. However, you can trigger out of band interactions with an external domain. So the attack that we performed in the previous lab doesn't work because you're not allowed to redirect output in another location. So you actually have to send an out of band connection to an external domain that you control. To solve the lab, exploit the blind OS command injection vulnerability to issue a DNS lookup to Burp Collaborator. And we've got a note right over here saying to prevent the Academy platform from being used to attack third parties, our firewall blocks interactions between the labs and arbitrary external systems. To solve the lab, you must use Burp Collaborator's default public server. So unfortunately, we're stuck using Burp Suite Professional because that has access to the Collaborator server and the free version doesn't. So let's right click and access the lab. And in the meantime, open up Burp Suite Professional. Hit next, hit star burp. Hit OK. And let's make this a little bit smaller. Set Foxy Proxy to send requests to Burp. Go to Home. And you could see that the request was intercepted in the proxy tab. Go to HTTP history so that we could see the requests that we're making and then click on submit feedback. And this is the exact same application that we've been working with in the past couple of slides. So we're going to submit feedback over here. So let's say test, test at test.ca. And then again, the subject is just test and the message is just test. Click on submit feedback. And you could see over here, you get a response saying, thank you for submitting the feedback. 
So we already know that the email field is the one that is vulnerable. However, if you didn't know which field was vulnerable, you would test each parameter for command injection just to see if it's vulnerable. Okay, so if we look at our post request right over here, you could see that the response of the request is just saying thank you for submitting the feedback. And so you don't receive uh, the content of the request that you made. And this means this is not an in-band command injection, it's a blind command injection. And we've seen techniques before where you could redirect the output of the command injection to other pages uh, that are publicly visible in the application. However, we saw in the description of the lab that this is not possible. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try and trigger an interaction with an out of band server that we control. And that server over here is going to be Burp Collaborator because that's what listed in this lab. So if we right click and send to repeater over here, Again, just hit send to see that it's working. And let's make the response a little bit bigger. Okay, this looks good. And we know that the email field is the one that is vulnerable over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Burp and then select Burp Collaborator Client. And then we're going to click on Copy to Clipboard. So this is going to be our external server that we control. So we're gonna try to perform a DNS lookup on the server to confirm that this is vulnerable to blind command injection. All right, so to do that, let's go back to burp over here and put it right over here. So we wanna inject our payload in the email field because again, we know that's the one that is vulnerable. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the end character and then perform an NS lookup on our collaborator client. And then we're gonna use the hash sign in order to comment out the rest of the string for this command. This is so that we don't run into any errors. So let's copy this, put it in the email field, and then highlight the whole thing. And we have too many spaces over here, so let's put only one space, although I doubt that matters and then do control U to URL encode it. And before we hit send, I'm gonna open up Burp Collaborator Client and put it side by side. So if this is vulnerable to blind command injection, we should see a ping back to our domain. So hit send. And if we click on poll now, you could see that it performed the DNS request to our domain, which means that this is vulnerable to blind command injection. And if we look at it over here, you could see that a lookup was received from the IP address 3.251.104.183, which would be this web application over here, and it was performed to our server. And if you go back to the lab over here, you could see that it says, congratulations, you solved the lab. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting a blind command injection in order to perform an out-of-band interaction to our external server. In the next lab, we'll look into how to use this out-of-band interaction in order to actually extract data from the application itself or the host operating system. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe and share button so that the video reaches a wider audience. Also, make sure to check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.